everyone. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. It is Sunday and we are here to chit chat. Now, if you are enjoying your day, go ahead and give us a comment. Now, I just post um, a link for you all. And if you want to be on the show today, you can be on the show. Okay. If you want to be on the show today, you can be on the show. What you, we need you to do if you want to be on the show is to get that link so you could join. All we're asking you to do is to just tell us about whatever it is that you're using on your skin, what it has been doing to your skin, one of your favorite remedies of mine, and basically, you know, how long you're watching the channel. So if you want to be, this is your time because once I start, I won't be able to send you the link. I already put the link in members group, but also if you are just a regular watcher and you want to be on, send for it at chichibeauty at gmail.com right now so that I could send it to you as we speak. So I'll be multitasking in case any of you want to be on the show. I think Amina is going to come on. Sarah is, um, Sarah is already on. And anyone else want to be today is your day to be on our live show. While we are at it, we're going to be talking about a skincare, what it is that you're using on your skin, how you can help your skin to look better. Hello, Essie. Welcome to our live. And we are also going to share some tips on how to get rid of hyperpigmentation, how to lift, tighten, and from the skin, how to get your skin to look years younger, younger than your actual age. That is the goal, glass-like appearance. So if you're new here, a warm welcome. Key is driving. She cannot be on the live today. Irene Paul, welcome to our live show. Um, Johnson Top, welcome to our live show. And um, Joy is here. Um, how are you doing today? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. Marjorie E. Williams is here. Welcome to our live show. We have a lot of new people on the show today. Globy, I finally got rosehip oil at the store yesterday. So excited to use it in the blend. Root Rotel is also here. Welcome to our live show. I like when we have new New people on the show so if you want to be on the show right now you still can be on the show all you have to do is to send for the link and send for the link to the show at chichibeauty at gmail.com right now before we start and all you need to do if you're going to be on the show i'm just going to ask you what is it that you are using on your skin what is your favorite remedy and also how far your skin has come you know if it has come a long way right now i am so burning up right now it's so hot is it very hot where you're watching from let me know now you know when the time get okay now the thing is on when the time get really really hot some people tend to change the skincare products that they're using now if you get really really hot switch out to some lighter beauty products and don't forget a facial toner is also essential a good facial toner you can use spritz it on your skin and you can spritz it on your skin any time of the day thank you brooks for contributing to our channel if you're new and you're wondering how did brooke get to do that there's a dollar sign at the bottom of the page that you're watching if you want to support the channel you can actually just click on it and you can contrib contribute whatever it is that you want to contribute hi maxine davis watching from jamaica we also have id welcome and um irene happy sunday love you love you right back and one of my favorite people, Magdalene, is here. Welcome to the live chat. Hazel, hi, Hazel. Welcome. Now we're waiting. I don't see Amina. I know she want to be on. And who else want to be popping? So while we wait for people to come on, you know, um, we're going to talk about um, how to get your face to look good in a short period of time, six weeks you can actually transform your skin in six weeks and for all my new subscribers a warm welcome to you all my new as a matter of fact how many are you watching right now this is the first time that you are watching if this is the first time watching our live go ahead and comment 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 i'm seeing a little glare on my arm and my 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 um my thing right here Okay, so Amina is almost there. I don't see Claudia on today. Let me see if Claudia was on the top of the hour. Claudia has been working a lot these days. Um, I, I'm seeing that she's, yes, see you in six hours. Okay, all right, so if you are new here, all my new subscribers, 
welcome to the live and feel free to be a part of the live show all we need you to do is just comment you know just ask whatever question you want to ask share your skincare tips that is okay and we just want to welcome you all i don't know what happened to my um i um feed guys but i'm not seeing the the i am not able to see my um okay here it come back all right so what i want you all to to do let me hear from you all is the audio where you're watching from okay let me know because i kind of did some little changes to my audio and i really so here comes claudia i really really want to know if the audio that you're getting the sound that you're getting is okay okay so claudia is still at work i would them how hard you're working because i could tell when you are very 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 busy hi jill welcome 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 who else is here we have melanie Co colo colombia welcome first time watching oh claudia you have a neighbor watching from and claudia is also in winnipeg joy first time welcome to the live if you're watching for the first time go ahead comment hi jackie mom welcome we have corinne edwards a first time so let me just highlight some of our new um watchers today and we like to actually yes i think my um i think my um i think my my okay so here it come now um okay thank you for that the audio is great all right perfect because we i was having some little issues so let me go ahead if you're just joining you're new i like to take the little few minutes to welcome especially my new subscribers because now you're a part of the family and you need to know that we do appreciate you so i'm just doing that so if this is your first time go ahead and let me know if it is your first time so i can give you your shout out and also for if it's your first time feel free to ask questions anything you want to know about skin anything you're doing with your face all right so now we have two guests on and since i didn't see any i'm still checking the email to see if any of you is sending for the link if you are a member the link is in the group chat you can just go in and copy that link if you're not a member you want to be on live which i know some of you are going to want to run on while the show is going on go ahead and send the email send the email to chichibeauty at gmail.com and i'm gonna put it up right now so you can send for it at this minute all right guys so with that said let's introduce our first guest which is sarah or sarah sarah now are you ready sarah let me know if you are ready so all i'm gonna do sarah i just want to know about your skin what it is that you have been using and if you have a question you know you know for me to you know we need you to be ready so give me a thumbs up let me see sarah if you're ready for the live show if you're ready to be on i think i'm just going to introduce you guys one by one not at the same time and then at the end we could bring you on so we're going to bring on sarah first let me know show me by i can see you sarah they can't see you let me see if your thumbs up if you're ready to be on live all right so She's probably talking and thinking that. Sorry, just show me by your hand like this if you're ready to be on live. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, guys, so we're going to introduce uh, Sarah. And Sarah is one of our subscribers. And she's going to come on and she's going to talk about, you know, her skin, what she has been using, and all that good stuff. Welcome, Marjorie E. William, first time. Nini John, welcome back. And GGT from Toronto, welcome. So let's bring on Sarah. Sarah, one, two, three, Sarah, and you are in. Welcome, Hi. welcome to the live show. Hi. It's so good to see you. Hi, it's good to Let be me here. Make sure your, your mic is on because I'm not hearing you. You're so, not. Um, Hold on. Hold I'm going to ask you all. Can you all hear Sarah? Um, Sarah? Say something, Sarah. Hi, guys. All right, so I am not hearing you. Let me hear. Are you guys no hearing Sarah? If you can hear Sarah, go ahead and comment, comment, comment. Um, mic setting. Um, let me see. Um, okay, so your your mic setting is good to go. So, all right. Don't know why I'm not hearing you, Sarah. Go ahead. Come. Um, hello. How are you today? Hi, I'm very good. Thank you. All right. So, um, so. 
okay so everyone is hearing you but i am not hearing you don't know why that is <laughs> so so i think we had this problem before and taryn was the one who actually helped me to get out of this let me see my setting really really quick um and that is gonna be my setting right here and this is my audio um my audios right now is good mic is good um all right so i automatically adjust cancel echo all right so i don't know let me see my my volume is off all right but we're gonna talk to you and i'm so sad that i'm not hearing hopefully it will the issue will um thing is taryn in the house if taryn is here help me out taryn you always help me out when we are having this issue i could also switch back all right so i know what i'm gonna do really really quick hang on in there let me switch back my audio to internal and see because this is what she told me to do the um the first time internal built-in go internal default come on here and that is what Terry told me the last time hello sarah how are you hi Terry will be proud of me right now <laughs> she's right here <laughs> yes i remember all right all right so welcome 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 thank so, you tell thank us you about your, it's so good to have you on here so yes and all this technology you're telling me thumbs up and i am looking for some button that to press so that thumbs up and not just my hand oh my gosh okay all right so all right um kitchi i have used a lot of things so i what i can tell you and i know i mentioned this before i used to have open pores and i don't have it anymore I cannot say exactly what I used, but I know that I connected with your site during the pandemic and I started doing stuff. And um, I did the, the whole hundred, the, the, the um, 30 day, was it? The, the, um, the challenge, right. I did that twice. And um, I have definitely seen a difference. I get a lot of compliments. Um, my sisters are like when i make things sometimes i share with them so like i did a um recently i made a serum and oh my god and i'm trying to remember okay wait let me take it in strides i made a spritz with the cucumber and um tea so i made that um that toner right um i usually would use the Popo serum but i think this time what did i use boy coconut milk and some other things i can't remember which one it was but i'm using that serum right now i made um the uh, moisturizer the rice the rice moisturizer that you sleep with and i'm using that now i usually would clean my face with olive oil I use olive oil to clean and um, what else? The, the only thing um, for my daytime moisturizer, I actually have not, what I use is, um, what is it again? I don't use one, I haven't made one from you. What I use is a, oh, that Ole because of the, um, the yeah. what is it, PF? Yeah. Yes, SPF, because of that. I use that and I add some marula oil to that. So that is what I would use. But I um when it's finished, when I, whatever I have is finished, I would just try something else. And um so far, everything that I have used, it I think it's just excellent. I can see um turmeric is something that I know you said add you can add turmeric to most things. I do that because I definitely see a difference with turmeric. I've never tried an avocado base, but I have an avocado tree what? and I use avocado on my hair because I'm also battling alopecia. I think I told you that before. So, and I have seen lots of improvement, but I go all natural on my hair and it has grown. This is what you all see in here. It's obviously not our hair, but, but um, shrink. My hair is like all the way down here. 
but it just shrinks up a lot so um the avocado i'm definitely going to try amina's um remedy because her face looks beautiful so i'm going to try that yes definitely yes it is so for those well um most people watching don't really know the rest so when i mean come on she's gonna share it with them so that they could actually try that so right for your eyes um oh well i mean i i do the um the which you want the cloth right and you know i realize um i went to the to the um makeup store cosmetic store and they sold me this i'm not really a big thing on makeup i'm now trying to try to get into the eye makeup you can probably hardly see it but i have a little thing today yeah, so so um they sold me this thing uh where you to, to so that under your eyes would not look dark that this something that you put and oh, it, you just oh you just no. for the makeup that is concealer right concealer oh that's the name concealer <laughs> so i just put the three dots there and then they said to do it like this and put it in and i immediately when she said that it reminded me of that process that you gave us to clean to get rid of the darkness under the eye so i saw was like oh okay i'm seeing some relevance here <laughs> yeah so um i tried the cucumber, I've done that, and I and I do the massages. I try to do it at least once a week. I haven't done it in about two weeks, but I try, even if it's a short. <laughs> even if, no, but like every day, when I remember, I would do like, you know, the basic ones that you said like this, and I will do this, and, you know, and I bought a, went and bought myself a, one of those the instruments. I don't know why I bought that. Take a roller because i only used it once i used it and i probably have it almost a year now so but i would you know use my fingers and you know do it um, yeah 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 so all right I, I, definitely now let me ask you a question and keep it real before you start using the old remedies were you skeptical say that again before you start using home remedies were you skeptical about you know can you really with these uh -uh. Can nope 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 not at all not at all because you see most of the things that they sell when you look you can see that the, uh, the base is from the natural stuff they just add things into it to make it last long and then they do their thing to try to make it work maybe quicker or whatever so i always know that the natural stuff would be better at least that's my view that it would be better so once i could get it natural somebody sent me um on friday somebody sent me a list of some products that i believe could be coming out of india it's called joy um it's like joy products and i am what i'm going to try from that because it's relatively it's not very expensive and it's a lot of things like neem and you know a lot of the, the oh, natural yeah. india stuff i'm going to try a face wash that they have because i use the scrubs i would make face wash i made face wash with like potato and that kind of thing but sometimes it runs out and the time to do it so i'm going to try that face wash um i know it said neem something and um and i'll let you i'll let you know oil is it is, is it like a green um tube it's like a green tube let me tell you the girl sent me it via email she sent a whole list and she asked me to tell her what i wanted i i it's actually it actually said neem um face wash or something like that i will look i'll tell you before we are off i'll look because I need to find her chat and I will tell you because I was even going to share it and see if any anybody else because it looks I mean looks might be deceiving she says she uses it and it's good a lot of the things I don't need because you know we have the natural stuff 
but I will definitely try the face wash. We definitely okay to mix it up. Mix it up. Yeah. But still, what what I need to let most people know is that um, natural doesn't necessarily mean that it always has to be from your kitchen. Natural but also comes in a tube, okay? It can come from right. the tube. It all depends on the ingredient that is used in that particular product. Now, most of the time when you're going to buy a natural product out there, if the ingredient list is going to be very, very short. Very, very short. And the, the one thing that you're going to find that is in there is a little bit of a preservative, which might be about 0.05 or something like that percent. But you're going to find that the ingredient list is going to be at least about just five products. Now, for a face wash, the first product, the first word on it, most of the time it's going to be water. Aqua is going to be like the first word on it. And then you might see like, um, like mean extract or something, another extract. Once it's an extract, it means it's coming from a natural source. So those products are really excellent to use on the skin. What is not, you know, you really have to find some when you're going to see a long list of ingredients and you're going to find words that you can't pronounce. That right. is what you, know, you have a red flag. So definitely, if you have a little... Um, this one says, Joy Pure Neem Skin Purifying face face wash so that's what i'm going to try and it i mean it says here i'm getting it at wholesale price and this is tt dollars and it's 13 dollars and 78 cents so i don't know what but i just you have to buy it in bulk right so um maybe that's why they're selling it so cheap but um yeah they have other stuff like skin brightening stuff and they have papaya daily cleansing gentle face wash you know stuff like that which i i don't mind trying we are coming up with all of those things that you're just mentioning so our shop is going to be open maybe the first week of september somewhere there and we're going to have all of those they're all going to be natural so guys if you have not yet signed up on our website to be the first to know when the shop is open definitely right. go and check that out and we're going to share the link is there a cheryl feller on the show today a cheryl feller i don't know if this is a miss cheryl fellow and the reason why i'm asking if it's a, the person who wants to join the show so i'm not familiar with the name if you're still here and you want to be a part of the live Please comment so I can send you the link over and you can be on the slide. All right, so Sarah, it was, let me ask you really quick, Sarah, what are you doing for your neck? Because we want that all over right now. What is it that is you're doing for your neck? But don't you see everything that we put on the face to apply to the neck and the decollete? So oh, I know to do that. Oh. So whatever I put here, I put here. Oh, wait. I massage hair, massage hair too. That's it. And you're really looking good. You're really looking good. All right, guys, before you go, Sarah, let me ask is there anyone watching? I have a question for Sarah. If you have a question, I keep saying Sarah, but I know Sarah, right? <laughs> if you have a question for Sarah, go ahead and comment right now, and I just put it on, and she'll definitely answer the question. Uh, Let's see who is there. If you have a question for Sarah, Sarah, <laughs> go ahead and comment right now. We're waiting and then we're going to move on. And also, we're looking for a
We're definitely going to bring you back on. All right, here's a question. Um, what is number one in your opinion for you? All right, I told Sarah that I think she's going to support you. Can you hear me? I think, I, that, I think that's for you, Kitchi. I have no idea. I just do whatever you say to do. Whatever you say to do, that is what I do. Look who is checking out. All right, so we're going to bring it back on. I'm going to take the question. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. To be quite honest, Kitchi, I have not really seen wrinkles on my face. I don't know. I mean, so to say that I've seen, because I heard somebody say that they saw a wrinkle and they tried something and it went away. And I think that is, I think that's when I made that serum because I, I saw that's what that lady said she did. But I didn't really see anything, but I said, okay, good. I'm going to try it. I'm going to take in front and let me do it first, you know? And definitely you did and you have no regret doing it. And now you're no, no. very well after you're all right, thank you so much. And You're welcome. Let me take you off now. And we have our second guest. Any questions? So let me answer this question really quick. What I'm actually looking for is the link to send to um, to 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 um, Cheryl. All right, so quick question. Any of you have this question? What is number one in your opinion for wrinkles? Now, this is going to take me about three minutes to explain. So I'm on him there. Now, when it comes on to wrinkles, there are certain kinds of antioxidants or vitamins that is mostly used to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines. This, the most important antioxidant is vitamin A. Vitamin A helps to reduce wrinkles, boosts collagen and elastin in the skin, give the skin the firmness and the tightness. So if you are looking for a cream a serum a moisturizer anything like that a toner that is gonna have to reduce wrinkles and fine lines i would say number one is to find a product whether you're gonna buy one or you're gonna use one of mine that is rich in vitamin a now vitamin a you're gonna see it out there as retinol and retinol you can buy over the counter now when you go choose retinol to use on the skin you apply it on your skin mostly at night you don't want to go out in the sun with it and you do not use retinol every night on the skin you can use it every other night but it is one of the most i would say number one ingredient remedy facial product that is out there for wrinkles and fine lines however take a note of this there are a wide variety of facial oils that are rich in vitamin A. Number one oil that you have in your kitchen that is rich in vitamin A is soya bean oil. And if you go and you buy a soya bean like what I did, um, you're going to notice that the ingredient is soy oil. Another oil that you get a little bit of a vitamin A from is also carrot oil. But here are some amazing anti-aging oil, rose seed oil rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, really good for wrinkles and fine lines. The cacao oil, another oil that is amazing, that have way more vitamin A than the rose seed oil, but it have way less vitamin C and vitamin E, so that makes it good. Now, all avocado oil is all over a wrinkle-fighting oil, rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-3, all the electrolytes, potassium, sodium, and this will have to lift, tighten, reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. Most beauty products that you find out there that have anti-aging benefits do contain some of these oils. So to answer that question, anything that is rich in vitamin A that you can use topically on the skin. However, you can also use, you know, take eat a lot of green leaf vegetables, and you know spinach and the pop choy and all that good stuff and that will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin very 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 good of course yeah all right so we're gonna bring on our second guest and some of you are very much familiar with this guest while some of you might not be for all my new subscribers 
this is one of our faithful subscriber that has been using our products for a long 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 time and now she's here to tell us about the skin I'm still trying to send um, I'm still trying oh they filter my thing that's why I wasn't finding it sorry I'm still trying to send the, the um, link to Cheryl. So that is, just keep checking Cheryl. I'll tell you as soon as I send it, I wanted to send it out before um, Aminia um, it. However, my computer is just messing up my messages right now because it's way, 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 way too much, but I'm gonna um, get it to send to you while Aminia is, um, is on. Very strange that I'm not seeing that email um, that I sent with the link. In my thing, like really, really strange. Anyway, we're getting it to you right now. All right, Aminia, show by the time if you are ready to come on and start to talk about your skin. All right, so let's welcome Aminia to the live. And if you're watching and you still want to be on, you can. So let's bring Aminia. Hi, Aminia, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. Can everyone hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, excellent. Go ahead. I'm just trying to set my laptop up okay so um let me switch this way all right so i have been a subscriber uh, four years now i i think and the very 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 first thing that i ever made was i made i did a combination of petroleum jelly i went out and got some rosehip seed oil Aloe vera gel is a big Caribbean thing. So that's like abundant in the yard. And I whipped that together and I started using it under the eyes. Now, I had my grandson over on Friday night, I think it was. So that was chaos. So that motivated me to do the mask that I did last night because. All right, you're going to get free Because I didn't want to sleep. It's tired. So just a, a bit. So um, I was like, do a mask and do what you normally do. So the that first thing that I made, as I started to apply it predominantly to the eyes, I always had like a little bit of puffy eyes. I'm talking from way back in my 20s. Never mind the, the fact I'm only 33. Hint, hint. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, use that and I saw improvement. So I continued experimenting with other natural skincare products as would be displayed on the channel. And the world of difference, I stopped. I have just been on this skincare, natural skincare uh, bandwagon ever since. And what you see is actually a 43-year-old lying about her age that I'm 33. And <laughs> That was a good one. I hope you're all paying attention, guys, because she did get away with it. Like, really, really get away with that. Because I was believing it too. Because I'm not paying <laughs> And I'm sure she catch a lot of you. I'm, I'm sure. If you believe a when she said she was just one, 33. Was it 33? 33. Go ahead and comment right now. And I don't know why you chose that number. Because for years, I was telling people I was 33. And then I move it up to 36. <laughs> I'm doing that now, but for years I was doing that. And people used to believe it. Like, I was up at that age, okay? And I was wearing my 40s and I was still telling people I was that age. And now I see the channel, like, kind of come clean and share with people my, my real age, to be honest. But yeah, you are, and you're glowing. I don't know what else is going on. Definitely glowing. Definitely glowing. All right. <laughs> well, go. let, let me share the ingredients for the mask that I did last night. Um, avocado. I would have never thought this thing that I love to eat, it just so happened that it kind of got stuck a, a little bit to the back of the fridge and was there for like three days and, and it got too soft to consume. And of course, instead of throwing it out, I scooped it out, added some aloe vera gel and whipped it. And I keep a, a, a little jar in the freezer. So when I want to use it to mix it for whatever, I would just scoop some out, defrost it and mi mix my, my blend as I did yesterday. And um, the co the trick is the colder, the better. So oh, I right. keep, kept it in the free. Yes. Cold is best, especially you want to depuff the under eyes. 
make sure it is cold, really cold. It's it's just refreshing. So it was the the she'd come back. The the, the 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 avocado, the aloe vera gel, a dollop of yogurt, and unfortunately we don't get plain yogurt in the small jar. So the the plainest I usually use is the vanilla flavored one, and I just add it in there. I had a pinch of, of turmeric, a splash of grapeseed oil, and then my new favorite love is cornstarch. All right, whip 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 whip. whip. That's I why I haven't tried the flour yet. The corn, I'm still on the cornstarch bandwagon. Maybe I'll do flour next week. <laughs> <laughs> so had it in the freezer for a bit, went into the shower, and you should always start with exfoliating. So here comes the exfoliating or the exfoliator recipe. I got hold of some Irish sea moss and chia seeds what else did i use it was the iris sea moss the chia seeds and i grinded those to a powder and brown sugar and coffee is usually like my two best friends when it comes to ex exfoliating i did i didn't have gr uh, blended rice so i omitted that this time um and then i also used just a pinch of yogurt a pinch of the aloe vera gel mostly um oil and some rose water blended that up took it into the shower and i just went from head straight down to toe get... oh, yeah. I, can tell. <laughs> I can tell that was gonna don't, go all the way down to don't stop story. here don't stop here go all the way down get yeah. under the pits get mm -hmm. the knees get the elbows scrub away wash that off and i came out so basically i almost showered twice because when that is done now you go for the mask and you put it on and i'm in my bedroom and on this wall here threw my feet up watching a couple videos from chi chi <laughs> while i passed the time for it to dry and then i went back into the shower and with cool water not not warm don't don't go to the warmer side but with on the cooler side rinse it off pat dry and put your um your toner on and i ran to the fridge quickly while shara was on this is the uh, uh, where am i going so this is my combination that i've been using now for like a week and this is um star anise anise seed um star anise aniseed i do i did put some uh lavender rose petals mm -hmm. and just let that sit overnight uh, on boiling water and just let it sit overnight and then when it cooled down the following day then, then i added the aloe vera gel and i've been using this because about two to three maybe three weeks now just right under here i saw like three lines started to appear and i'm like <gasps> What's that? No, 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 no. I'm 33. I'm 33. So <laughs> this became my best friend. And with facial massaging, lines are gone. And so you put that, that on and halfway through the drying process, I follow through with my oil blend and I have to re-up at this moment. In here is some grapeseed oil, rosehip seed oil, um, I have argan oil and a splash of the white, what's that thing called now? The the, the castor oil, but the white one. Yeah. Um, right. And I may have put some rose essential oil, just a, a couple drops. And I've been using that. So you really get into the massaging and then you get to the eyes and then you do the dabba, 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 dabba. Never forget, dabba, dabba, dabba. <laughs> That's Chi Chi's word. <laughs> And voila, there you go. <laughs> Anyone have any questions for Aminia? Comment right now. And this is the truth, Aminia. You're glowing. I guess we have to talk off here. But <laughs> we're to ask on something else, right? We definitely have to talk off here because something is going on. Something. I mean, the other part of the is good too. But <laughs> take a look at the eyes. All right, guys. <laughs> Go ahead and ask right now. 
comment, comment. And um, Cheryl Filler, I did send the link. Check your email because if you want to be on, you'd be up next. Any question for Amelia? Comment, comment, comment. We're waiting. Titi, good afternoon. Um, someone have this question, I think, is um, can we use coffee ground that already brewed? Um, dried. I saw mine like French press, dry not dip, 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 dip. And you know the honest truth is, let me answer that question really quick. I would say yes, especially if you're going to make a body scrub with it. However, you don't, you want a little bit of the coffee because you want that caffeine from the coffee. So what you could do, even if you already brew it, you probably could throw back a little of the liquid in the, in the, I'm going to call it trash of the coffee and add stuff to that. Mm -hmm. You can really for exfoliating just the granule you really need so you could add the aloe vera yes. gel you could have you know a little yogurt whatever else you have and definitely use it up don't waste anything and put some lemon or some lime zest in it and whip it up and make it your own any question for Aminia? comment Aminia. uh all right here is one okay so uh, Aminia, that's the what you uh, okay so the under eyes honestly speaking I have my lazy girl method and then I have the complex method. The lazy girl method is, and if anyone comes at us with the petroleum jelly, bring it. My <laughs> eyes are living proof. Look, look, look at these eyes. Look at these eyes. Um, tap it under, go all around. And um, it's also good to grow the lashes. If I want to get jazzy with it, then I would add a, a, just a drop you need of the the um, the castor oil and you blend it and you literally tap on the lashes. But I just, so when I start at the lashes, I just go all around and I tend to do this motion here all around. And at the end, what I thought, this was what I used to do before. And Chi Chi, help me out. We, we did a, a, a live show once where we did the whole facial m massage and mm -hmm. I found that the dabba dabba thing. So while I will do this in the beginning, I end with this yeah. tapping and it's like, you just feel a rush of blood circulation, something. Yeah. 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 And that just, but it is so relaxing at the same time. So I could be feeling like slump, trash, trash, mush. The next morning, even with little sleep, it's like your eyes are open and you're go. That's that's what that does for me. And that that is amazing. And as we tell you all guys, when you really sit and take care of yourself, it's not only because you want your skin to look good. Yes, you do. But the the mm -hmm. satisfaction that comes with just whipping up like that avocado mask in your kitchen, using it on the skin, relaxing that with it, it's just mm -hmm. something that good. Not only for the skin. But also for your well-being, your health, your frame of mind, your everything. All right, we have a question for you, Amina, and that is from oh. um, Ilma. Ilma. Yes. Okay. My favorite, favorite face cream. Believe it or not, it's not store bought. Thanks, Chichi. Thanks to Chichi for this one. Also, it is my coffee rice cream. All right. So <laughs> you, you take the. <laughs> it's. I, I I have never been that kind of girl, the, the girly girl. I mean, yes, I like my makeup and stuff, but to go and buy face products, if it if I could just buy one tube and do everything, that would be my preference. And um, the face cream, so you start with the ground rice and you add boiling water to it. If you want it a little bit more um, softer, what I would do is put it on the stove top for like two minutes to just get the grains to really soften up. Add some, either just add the coffee, uh, ground coffee, or if you brew the coffee, brew it strong. The stronger, the better I find. Add that to it and ja get jazzy with, with your ingredients. The earlier videos from Chi Chi, when I started to look, she would always say, make it your own. So I would often take, a re so the one thing could have a combination or a culmination of two to three videos that I saw. Oh, she used aloe vera gel here and she used vegetable glycerin there. And I would just pour it in. Don't get crazy, but just get jazzy. 
So the aloe vera gel and, and the honey is like one of my two go-tos for almost everything that I use. Um, and then you go in with the oils and the oil, of course, is going to be dependent on your skin type. Now I have normal skin. However, I live in a tropical climate and I perspire like I don't know what. A horse have nothing on me when I sweat. So I keep it to grapeseed oil. <laughs> as much as I love um, olive oil, I will, you know, do less olive oil, more grapeseed oil. Lighter. And just, bl so sorry? Lighter. The grapeseed oil is much lighter. It's lighter, right. But you still get the moisturizing effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, and of course, how can I forget? Um, Rosehip seed oil. That is die hard fan right right here i have experimented with other oils like um apricot oil whatever i use the almond oil um I, i'm missing one apricot almond i'm missing somebody but anyhow i just recently ordered um another oil that i came across um hilma my hilma you might know this one baobab and, and i hope i'm saying that correctly it's a tree predominantly found in africa from what i've researched so baobab, B-A-O-B-A-B -A -A -B oil. And it, it can be used as a carrier oil as well. So I, I can't wait to get that to experiment and see what, what that's going to do. But it, it's rich in the, all the omegas and the fatty acids and such. I can't remember if it's C and E oil as well. Oh, and vitamin E oil. Always splash that in there. So I would alternate either the vegetable glycerin or the vitamin E. But you make that cream together, keep it in the fridge. And of course, cold is best. And that would be what goes on at night. And I'll be brutally honest with you. I have taken it to work because I work in AC. And I would just store it in the, in the fridge of the office. But I get to work, let's say like 15 minutes early and put it on while I'm in the AC that I don't sweat it off and just leave it on yeah i can get crazy like like that and the beauty of these natural products is when you put them on no one is the wiser yep. it's on and it just sucks into the skin and good to go on good with your day good to go very yep. very good any question any other question for amenia if you have another question for amenia go ahead and comment and uh, cheryl cheryl feller i did send the link to you if you want to be on, just click on that link and join. We're going to give you some time to come on, about five minutes. And um, someone was making a comment, I mean, and I saw it. Okay, here it is. And this is from Joy. You're looking good. That 33 looks good on you. Keep it up, girl. <laughs> I definitely have to put that one up. All right, here's another one for you, Amina, which is good. I'm sure about 18 Keep it up, girl. Yes, <laughs> that is actually a good one. So Rosie is trying to spell. Um, this is the spelling of the oil. Yes. All right. So I'm glad you guys um, spelled it because I was here trying to spell it. And I do it. Yeah. A B O B A. So um, thanks for that. So it's B A O. It's a funny one. A B. Yeah. So we're going to look into that. This one is yeah. to me. So, um, Thank you so much for coming on, Aminia. Uh, we're going to bring you back in a while. And guys, if you have any questions for Aminia, save it because we're going to bring her back on on the live. Thank you so much. I'm on in there in the wing, Aminia. And you're really looking good. <laughs> All right, guys. So someone have a question for me, and I need to answer this question. And I'm going to put it right here. Let me see it come up. How to do reduce wrinkles in between the brows? Like the level mark, is there any massage specially for that? And I could, I know when people are new. Now, we normally call that the frown line, and that is right here. 11, they call it number 11 also. There's a very quick, a very simple, and a very easy massage for that. Look at my brows, guys. I didn't pull my brows today. You can tell. Anyway, here is, here is it. And this you need to do after die. We do it on this channel a lot, and most of us are doing that. Now, if you look at my face, you cannot see that frown line because I do massage it. So all you need to do is to take your fingers like this and put it right here, and you're going to just push it up, up, up in the frown line, and carry it out like this right over that eyebrow and stop right here, right above the temple right there. So you go back in 
Oopsie, doopsie, and that's it. Whoopsie, doopsie, and that's it. And you can you use your hands. Oh my goodness, I don't have my little stuff on my deck. See, you know one of the reasons why I don't have all my little gadget on my deck? That's because of Jill. I was saying something and Jill was saying to clean up the decks. So <laughs> Clean off the decks. Decks is clean. No, I can't find these little things. However, you can use like um, the jade roller. You can use the gosha, or you can use any of those little beauty tools with just like those little angles, and you can just push it up right up there. Carry it to the left. Push it up. Carry it to the right. Left, right. You know, okay. I'm using the computer, so I'm doing it backwards. So that's is that's it. That is it at least 10 times every day take your hands if you have no beauty tool your two fingers like this you go right here you grab your nose reach right there right in the number 11 map and you do like this as a matter of fact do your forehead too all the way all the way and then you come back in and i'm challenging you to do this for this week do this every day for this week twice a day all you need is about a minute because you're just doing this 10 times and come back next week and tell us if you see any difference going on there if you have a good oil which is rich in vitamin a like the avocado the cacao oil any of those oil use it little drop on your finger and massage or when you apply your facial products whatever it is you're using just still go back in massage so you push it up like this and i'm doing it right now go like this that is for the frown line that is for the frown line and this works like a charm all right so we are moving on if you have any more questions for us go ahead and comment right now we're taking a few questions now here is a question is rosy Chichi, is rose hip oil different from rose hip oil? I know you want to say it's rose hip oil is different from rose hip seed oil. I know that is the question. And thanks to Jill, she was one one of my subscribers that um brought this question to view, and I was like, oh, it's the same, blah blah blah. Anyway, let me answer the question. The only difference with rose hip oil and rose hip seed oil is how it is made. The rose hip oil is made from pressing the entire rose hip bud when they're extracting the oil. So they, instead of just washing off the fleshy part of it and leave just the seed, they're too lazy to do that. So they just press everything even though the oil is still coming from the seed, But the process is just pressing that um, rose hip bud and whatever you get, that is rose hip oil. Now, when it comes out to rose hip seed oil, they wash that flesh off and leave only the seed and the seed is what they press to make that rose hip oil. So that is the difference. One is pressed with the flesh and one is pressed with just the seed. Both are good, okay? Both are good. Which one is better? None is better because you still get in the oil only from the seed. Don't know what is in the outer flesh. It might have a little vitamin C in it. So that might also be a factor, but use whichever, whether the seed or whether the rose hip um, oil. And that is what makes the difference. Very, very, very good question. Um, any other question you have? We're still waiting for Cheryl, which um, is seven minutes. So I guess she didn't get the link. We sent it out. But next week, Cheryl, um, you can come on. We're going to have a different link, but I'll send it to you over pretty, pretty early. If you're just joining, welcome to our live chat. Today we are sharing tips and how to get that glass-like skin effect, how to get your skin to look amazing in just six weeks. So here is a tip for all my new subscribers. To get your skin looking good in six weeks, you will have to have a skincare routine. Now, if you do not have a skincare routine, not to worry. We do have it for you so you can send to chichibuti at gmail.com and we will send the printout for you what we're asking you to do is to go and watch our 25 day skincare challenge and that is what you're gonna use for your face to look good in six weeks however to make it short you need to cleanse your skin 
twice per day. Use a good facial cleanser, whether you're gonna use a store-bought or you're gonna wake one at home or try one of my recipes, right? Now, cleansing AM and cleansing PM, that's what you do. If you are short and time, spend more time cleansing at night or spend more time cleansing whether you have the time AM or PM. You're also gonna make sure to exfoliate your skin for that six week, at least twice per week. Use an exfoliator from our content, our videos, or buy one in the store. Exfoliating your skin will have to get rid of dead skin cells. It will also have to clean the pores out, and it also make your beauty products that you're gonna use on the skin work better on the skin. If you're not sure what this exfoliating is all about, watch that 25 day skincare challenge, or just watch back some of our old um, live show. Now, here is the trick that we share on this channel when you exfoliate. We encourage you to steam your face. And if you're new to steaming, guess what? You're at the right place because once you start to steam, your skin is gonna look way better than not steaming at all. I know a lot of you are new to steaming the face, but definitely get it into your skincare routine. Two things make a difference, and two things is what most people don't do. Steam in the face and massage in the face. Those are two things that will make your skin look better than the rest. You're steaming. Why are you steaming? When you steam the face, it's going to open the pores and it's also going to melt the grease and dirt. When you find that you have clogged pores, you have blackheads, you have whitehead and all of that dust from the environment on your skin, the steaming is going to let all of that get loose and then you're just going to rinse your face and when you rinse, it is not ready to absorb your toner, your serum and your facial moisturizer. Now, how often should you steam? At least twice per week, especially when you're just a star starting out. So twice a week you steam and you can also choose the steam while you are exfoliating. How do you steam if you do not have a steamer? Oh, I want to steam, but I don't have a steamer. Not to worry. You have a stove top. You have a pot, whether it's a kettle, whether it is, a, and even if you don't have a stove, you don't have that, you have a microwave, you put that water in there, let it boil out. What you're doing is just using the steam, the old time way of letting that steam eat your face. A lot of us were steaming a year or so ago. Some people still is steaming and not because of the skin, but because of the big old COVID and all of that. Guys, don't stop steaming, okay? Don't stop steaming. Even if you're telling yourself, okay, I'm just doing it to make sure my nose is clean, you're still going to get the benefit from the steam on your skin. So you steam that face at, along with exfoliating. If you want to do it separately, steam first and then exfoliate. Some people steam exfoliate and steam again it's up to you but try to steam that face at least twice per week now once that is out of the way you are going to do one special mask in the six week you can choose two different type of masks and you're going to use those once or twice per week and you interchange them you're going to use mask according to your skin type not sure about the skin type watch the 25 day skincare challenge and here comes the creme of the creme now your skin is clean now you know how to cleanse your skin and make it ready for the beauty product you're going to use a serum a facial toner a serum a moisturizer oil or moisturizer and oil mixed together you're going to use this as four products every day on the skin a serum a moisturizer and also a oil and the toner you're going to spread the toner on your face as soon as you finish washing your face spritz it on or pat it on or you know rub it on and let it here dry a little and then you go for the serum for those of you who are new to my channel and you're not familiar with serum, a serum is a beauty product that is designed to repair, replenish the skin. If there's a wide variety of serum out there, you can try some of mine. I have some amazing one that is easy to whip up and you use that serum right after you use your toner. Once your serum is on the skin, then you go ahead and apply the moisturizer. A serum is mostly water-based. It absorbs into the skin like it just, the skin just drips drink up the serum right and it's a little goes a long way do not OD when it comes on to using your beauty product some of us tend to use way too much just a little bit of that beauty product a little bit of that serum and serum is best used at night okay even though they have 
daytime serum is best used at night when you go to sleep you allow the beauty product to work on the clean skin better and then guess what you're gonna do add a little bit of moisturizer on top of the serum now your moisturizer shouldn't make your face all greasy and looking like hello 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 i can't sleep up it no all you need is one to two drop of that moisturizer you press it on the skin and if you're using an oil you apply the oil above the moisturizer what i personally do i'll drop one drop of my favorite oil in that moisturizer or most of my moisturizer that i made I already have all these amazing oils so i don't need to use an extra Extra oil on top of my skin but sometimes you can skip the moisturizer and just use any of your favorite oil that is rich in vitamin A C and E and that is all you need to do for six weeks straight along with here is the icing now here's the topping massaging the face so if you do not know how to massage your face watch the 25 day skincare challenge or watch one of my video showing you how to massage your face and that is it that is all you need to do for six weeks will makes a difference after six weeks you should see some difference to the skin and don't forget your eyes you're gonna cleanse your eyes every night clean it with a nice washcloth and get a good eye cream or eye serum we have plenty of those on this channel so that is how you take care of your skin and transform your skin get glass like skin and just have amazing looking skin in six weeks here are some ingredients that can help you to get there aloe vera gel number one ingredient to help to transform your skin a facial mask you can use clay if you have like a lot of blackheads and whitehead and large open pores, a good clay mask can go for your mask. You can use one of my cornstarch masks if you're, you know, at the stage where you have wrinkles and fine lines. You can also use the avocado mask, like Aminia shared earlier. You can also um, use some papaya mask, which is one that I like a lot. And we, as I said, we have a wide variety of masks. You can pick, choose. What you do, choose a mask that you have most of the ingredients, okay? Because you can make them your home, but choose one that you have most of the ingredients. And then you're going to use that facial toner. A good ingredient for facial toner is cucumber. You can also choose to use my um, green tea. You can also choose to use my star anise. Any of those? Those are good. Or some plain old rose water. You can go buy a rose water and just use it as your toner. It's as easy as that. And now when it comes on to your moisturizer, a store-bought moisturizer is good. Or one of mine, Amina mentioned the rice with the coffee. That's a good one. But we have a wide variety on the channel that you can check out. So definitely, and when it comes on to oils, wide variety. You name the oil, we talk about it. So use one that you have and one that is your favorite. So, hi, Juliana. How are you? Welcome to the live. And we totally forget to ask for thumbs up, like like really driving you out for the thumbs up. Hi, Keisha. Welcome to the live. Now, if you have any question, for if you're just joining, we're talking about skin. We have two guests. We have Sarah and we have Aminia. We're going to bring them back on to say bye-bye. We were trying to get Cheryl uh, to come on. Maybe she got the link late and... Um, but she's not on and our time is up so if you have any question for the two guests go ahead and ask them right now and also if you're just watching and you didn't give us a thumbs up share some love to the channel give us a thumbs up next week we want you to come on also so be prepared we're gonna um ask any one of you who want to be on the chat next week you can be just send an email to chitterbeauty at gmail.com and once we create the link we'll just send it to you so we don't have to come on the chat to ask who want to be on so if you want to be on any of our live show this is what you do and if you have a story especially when it comes on to your skin like your skin was bad it's good good now your skin is not doing well you want some advice you are what we are looking for to be on our live chat so with that said um thanks claudia for always helping us to get that um lights up and if you didn't give us a light uh, go ahead and give us a like right now we're gonna bring back our guests on just to say bye-bye and if you have a question for them you can go ahead and you can ask them right now and um and um so both of you gonna come on let me see by the Raise if you're ready. 
um sarah ready okay so we're going to bring you guys on and some of these newbies all right so okay so here we go um what is okay so here we have sarah and amina earlier so you are just running and you missed that definitely rewind when the show is over and go and watch you know what they have to say about their skin we have a question are you missing that welcome and this is a question for amelia go ahead and read <laughs> okay so can you share about cornstarch didn't catch up okay so um chi chi has several videos with the cornstarch and I'll be brutally honest, I, I was a little bit skeptical, but basically how I used it, like a lot of the videos have it where she kinds of, I, boil maybe it. the word cooking, boil it. Yeah, there's heat applied. And then I was like, that's for the complex days. There are days when I'm in the kitchen and while I'm cooking, I'm whipping something up and then that runs out and, and then I, I want the lazy girl quick and e easy thing. And there was this one video, I can't even remember what all the ingredients are, but like I said, I do a lot of mixing and matching, like a little mad scientist in the kitchen also. And um, this one, she didn't cook anything. Like she just, or not even adding hot water. You just added it to the whatever I can't even remember oh. anymore. So th there was no heat application of any kind. Um, so I thought, well, the best thing to do is put the cornstarch in a separate bowl and take like the back of a spoon and really mash it to make sure that all the clumps are out of it and you have all the wet ingredients already mixed and then you add that to it so in the case where i use the the avocado and the so you, so you have the avocado the um the yogurt the aloe vera gel and the oils blend that all up in a separate container and then you prepare the cornstarch separately and you don't need like a lot i think i use just like a, a teaspoon worth but mash it to make sure that the granules are nice and fine and no clumps and then pour the wet into the dry and then beat it then take a go in with a fork i find is best and really whip it and it comes out the same as if you were to apply heat now we all tend to cook with cornstarch to thicken out our gravies and sauces and such so traditionally you know that there should be some heat application but there is that one video where there was no heat application and i was right up my alley because when you're done after a long day and you go into the kitchen and you clean up and you sweep up and brush up and whatnot you just want to be able to whip something up super quick if you didn't do the preparation let's say on sunday as i would traditionally do so um just prepare the cornstarch and if you want to like like i said get jazzy if you have either green tea um or the matcha powder you can also mix the dry ingredients first and then combine the wet after and then put it in the freezer like kind of pre-prepare it let's say eight o'clock i did my mask at 11 30 thereabouts and but i had pre prepare it at like eight stick it in the freezer and i'm pulling it out at 10 to let it cool off some and then applying it to, to the face and it was heaven it was wonderful i encourage and this is coming from after a while of being lazy to do masks so i would do almost everything else and i rarely did mask and i remember making a, a comment on it once on one of the the 25 day challenges and chichi was like just do it mm -hmm. so i'm just doing it <laughs> but the cornstarch especially it's um by without heat application it is definitely an easy way that you can whip something up in under 10 minutes and apply it one hour after all right great and for those of you, thank you amina for those of you who are new to cornstarch you can actually add like a half a teaspoon to any other mask that we made a little bit of a cornstarch especially if you have oily skin because it's very absorbent and the way Aminia make that, that is going to have to get rid of the excess grease on the skin. One of the reasons why we tend to put heat to it is for the skin tightening effect. Because when you put that heat and make that glue, that gum, when you apply mm -hmm. it on the skin, it gives that tightening. But for those other videos that I don't put any form of a heat, it also has to get rid of the excess grease um, from the skin. So those are for my 
new subscribers. All right, thank you, Aminia. Thank you so much for joining today. What about Sarah? Sarah, if you have a question for Sarah, guys, comment, comment. Any question for Sarah? Let me go back. Katine, and Katine, you want them to ask me questions I cannot answer. <laughs> All right. Yes, she you knows, can. Since she's picking, a, picking an out, um, let me ask you a question, Sarah. And you probably um, can answer. You probably can't answer. What is the your favorite recipe from our channel that you have tried on your school? Ooh, favorite boy. <laughs> um. Wow. All right, let me ask you. I like. All right. Oh, you coming up with an answer? I, I, I like the, the, the rice, um, rice base, the rice, um, and rice and the aloe vera. But mm -hmm. I did something with, um, with, I did a moisturizer with cucumber and uh, mm -hmm. um, petroleum jelly. Mm. And Good one. Something else I can't, but the, 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 the only thing is I did not, I don't have a small blender. So I have to get a small mm -hmm. blender because I yeah. struggle with getting these small things mm -hmm. to come together. So I, I, I was there mixing, 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 and it mixed to a certain point. And I had it in the fridge and it kind of, the, the container kind of leaned to the side. <laughs> it <probably> liquid. <laughs> liquid fell out of it but still the petroleum that jelly still has that green from the from the uh, cucumber that is that feels fantastic on my face and yes. also the, the the recent rice um mask that you sleep All with right. on your face yes yes when you get up in the morning mm -hmm. You're not supposed to use like any kind of wash on your face then. Just wash it off. Just rinse that off and that's it. Because I did not want to put mm -hmm. any kind of any wash on my face after taking that off. Because it felt so nice and soft. I didn't want to put it. Well, I didn't put anything. I just did that and went ahead spritzing on the toner and stuff. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. And guys, for those of you who are new, you're skeptical. We ask you to do this, right? Just one. That's all we ask. Just choose a recipe and try it one time. Because 90% chance is you're going to want to try another one. Thank you, ladies, for joining. And for those of you who are out here watching and a little shy, please, as easy as that, you can come on and you can share with us. If you want to be on our live, send to chickabeauty at gmail.com so we can get you on our, our live. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Amelia. And uh, it was Great You're welcome. Come back. Chi Chi, can, can I tell Shara one quick thing? Yeah. If you don't have a small blender, if you have a hand mixer, uh -huh. just as good to, to whip, oh. whip things together. Just right. use your hand mixer, like with the petroleum jelly and the cucumber. So it's oil and liquid. Get take right. out your hand mixer. Same okay. thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Amina. Thank you, Sarah. Bye. Let's see. All right, guys. So that was our two guests that we have on today. And for, as I said earlier, for those of you who are watching and be like, oh, wow, I could actually do that. Oh, I bring it back on. I mean, let me take it off. Yes. So I could actually do that. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. All we ask you is what you're using. Share your thoughts. If you have been getting good results, you share it with us. That's my time today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Go watch the video we post this morning and watch the videos to the end and share the videos on your social media page. If you're supporting your channel, your favorite channel, it doesn't matter what we post, you still watch it to the end, whether you're going to try the recipe, yes or no, since not all the recipes are for everyone. Be good to yourself, love you all, and we'll see you soon. I'm going to be on on Tuesday at 1 p.m. in the daytime, so check us out for our live show. And also, guys, 
if you are new to my channel make sure to comment under the videos so i know you're commenting so i can give you your shout out love you all thank you claudia thanks to all the members we have membership on this channel if you want to be a member you all you have to do is click on that join button below choose a tier and that's it voila you are a member and in our member we have a you all have access to my I would say my private number and that is the truth if you want to be a part of the membership group you'll also get the number where you can chit chat with us thank you so much for joining love you all and you know great show come next week come ready to be a part of our show be good to yourself do a facial this week just do something for you and i'll see